right in the middle of a real tangled up mix of red pines and some thorn branches and some white birch and some poplars and all kinds of vines tangling up and you know Obama said everything's a teachable point and I always think about that myself where I am what I'm doing what is it about that situation that I can say something which could help my students or be a metaphor for them achieving things that are difficult and one of them has to do with navigating your way through life when things look like obstacles. Now part of the thing that psychs you guys out is you feel somewhat negative about the future sometimes because you can't see the exact path. But it's a little bit like walking through an entangled forest. You have to get up closer to see the obstacles more precisely and also at the same time the opportunities. Because on the surface it may look like things are kind of difficult. But as you approach, you can see you can duck under this branch, you can go around that tree, you can cross over that log. And that's a good metaphor for life because I'm going to prove it to you. <coughs> Where our ranger is right now, there's a bunch of vines in the way. But if I go on this side of the tree, there's actually a gap. And I can actually push past this dead branch here. And now I'm actually out into a little bit of a clearing. I also made some noise which caused the partridge to leap off. And as I advance a little bit further, I'm actually going to head off to my 11 o'clock there. And I can actually see quite a few more spots in here where there's places I can move towards. So I got a chance to go through there, which is a little bit of clutter on the ground. But I'm actually going to go over here because I know from previous experience there's a gap between these two trees. And all I have to do is just duck under this one branch here. And I'm right straight in to this beautiful little piece of fungus that's growing on the side of the tree there. Ranger's going to go around the edge of the pond because he knows they shouldn't go through ice like that this time of year. We'll also make a lot of noise that people can hear us a far distance away. Yeah. And also from experience, you got to make sure when you're walking across places like this, you don't step on something that's been in the sunshine for several hours because you could sink right down up to your knee. You never can tell. Uh, it was frozen last night about minus two, but right now it's about plus seven, and it's been that way for about four or five hours now. So you gotta be a little bit careful of some traps and obstacles, things that look safe but are not really. And then we come up here, and you can see maybe an abandoned stretch of road. So we can walk along this path here and cover quite a bit of ground. So that's just a little bit of a metaphor for life. Don't get discouraged because at first glance things look difficult. If you start to approach the challenges, as you get closer and closer, you can see that some things you can actually get past. Other things are difficult but you just go around them and that's a good metaphor for life in my humble opinion and from about let's say 47 48 years of walking in the Canadian bush